It brings me so much joy to know that you guys are enjoying this series. I wasn't sure how you would take to it, but you've really surprised me with your feedback on my perfect fragrances. I figured we'd keep it going. I got five more categories to fill. In this video, we're getting a little bit more specific. Before we were pretty broad, we talked about perfect professional or classy scent or casual. This time we're getting a little bit more situational. Let's dive right into it. First one up, this one is pretty specific, but I think it's one that all of us can relate to at some point or another. And that is the perfect flying scent. If you're going to be on a plane and you're going somewhere and you don't want to be offensive, I think that tends to be priority number one, at least for me and I'm sure a lot of you can relate. When you're going to fly somewhere, the one thing that you don't want your fragrance to be is too strong and in everyone's face because you're going to be in close quarters unless you fly business class and you're just balling like that. Good for you. But if you're with the rest of us flying economy, you know what I'm talking about. So you want something that is again not going to be offensive. It doesn't necessarily have to be super weak. I was kind of looking for a fragrance like that and then I realized, you know what, it doesn't have to be that. You just can monitor your sprays. You don't spray a whole lot. Be courteous of others and even a slightly stronger or even just moderately performing fragrance will do just fine. But fresher is better in this case. Doesn't have to be, but I do think it works better, especially because you'll most likely find yourself around people who are not like you and me, who don't care about fragrances, who don't know much about fragrances, and all they know is that if it's too strong or not. So keep that in mind. A fragrance I decided to go with is from Precious Liquid. This is called Salt and Pepper. This is easily their most versatile everyday option, and it's one that's really grown on me with time. It is kind of what it sounds like. There is a fresh, peppery quality to it. There is this slightly salty quality to it. It is very fresh. It almost is kind of a blue-like scent, but of very good quality. So if you can imagine something along the lines of one of those kind of fresher, bluer, designer-like fragrances, but just elevated in every way in scent quality and composition. Simple enough for anyone to understand, especially, again, the kind of people who will be sitting around you. It does have enough presence where it will last you most of your day while traveling, whether it's a long or short day, and it will be present to people around you without choking them out. Can't go wrong with fresh. So this is a great option. There are many. Of course, perfect fragrances don't exist. There's no one fragrance for everyone. We do have a little discount code. If you go directly to Precious Liquid's website, I'm gonna have everything down in the description where you can get a little discount on this new collection they have. Wonderful stuff. This is just one of the several offerings and the rest of them are honestly even better. Salt and pepper. Let's talk about the perfect vacation scent. And we're talking about something that works for day and night while on vacation. And I'm considering vacation to be kind of a more tropical climate or something warmer where you'll be near water, maybe near the beach or at least near the pool, or you will be maybe sipping on some cocktails, you'll be under the sun and you want something that's gonna do well during the day, but also have some legs at night. I will be honest, I haven't really worn this fragrance yet because it's brand new and I'm still getting to know it, but I think it just works perfectly for this occasion. From Beach Giza, a lot of you guys have been asking me about when is their newest release coming? It's basically here. And at least it's here by the time you see this. This is called Pearl Leather. And believe it or not, there's a story behind getting this to market. They had to do a name change and it was quite an adventure for them. Wow, wow, wow. So this is like sweet white leather. That's the best way I can put it. There is this limoncello note. There's this kind of ozonic watery note. I think that, that little bit of bright freshness, that's not overly citrusy or anything like that does help it to be something that shines in the heat during the day. But it does have a base of a fairly robust leather that is in no way animalic or sharp or stinky on the nose or anything like that. There's also this interesting vinyl-like accord, kind of a pleasant rubbery quality to it. That sounds weird, but it's really nice. And I think for the evening, that's when those hard and base notes will really shine and make it very appropriate for nighttime activities when it's a little bit cooler and it's robust enough to where it will stick around or you can obviously just reapply. Again, to pick one perfect fragrance for all of vacation, 
is ridiculous. I don't think I could do that, but if I had to, this is one I would consider. Not to say I would take this one, but I would definitely consider it. Do get you a sample when you can, when it's available. Pearl Leather from Beach Giza. They have several others that are perfect for this. They just scream vacation. I would have been remiss if I left out this brand for this category. That is Pearl Leather. The perfect cozy night in fragrance. Again, so many wonderful options. Some very well-known mainstream options that are great for this, like your Dolce & Gabbana The One, maybe even La Nuit de L'Homme. There's some great options to consider here. Again, trying to present you guys some different stuff that you don't see in every video because I've seen some people make this argument. You don't have to keep talking about new stuff that we've never heard of because few people out in the world are wearing fragrances to begin with. So even if you wear the most basic stuff, you're still going to stand out. And frankly, I agree with you. The minority of people out there actually wear fragrances. So yeah, a lot of even the most basic stuff will be novel to them. However, we're talking about here on YouTube and the question to ask is, do you really want to sit and watch someone like me talk about 10 fragrances you already know and probably have? What is the point of you watching that video? What are you gaining from it? That's where my head is at. <laughs> and with all that out the way, let's talk about Killian. Apple Brandy on the rocks. You know, it's only kind of recently where this fragrance took this category. I actually wore it last night, just at home. I got home from a, a dinner with the in-laws where I couldn't really wear a fragrance because there's some sensitivities there to scent and didn't want to disturb anyone. So I got home, I sprayed this on while I was editing and it was just wonderful. It is a wonderful fragrance. There's a cooling freshness to it, almost like a cardamom, spicy, very, very cooling freshness mixed with a little bit of a sweet fruitiness that's apple-like. There's a crisp quality to it, like fresh apples during the fall time with very dry woods, kind of an oak barrel, like woodiness, very, very dry woodiness enveloping the entire scent. And that is the cozy nature of it. I found it really pleasant to sit with while I was at home. Grace came and she loves this stuff. Like kind of goes Google for it, which is funny because I almost included this fragrance in another category later on in the video. But I really wanted to put it here because of the context that it served for me last night. Perfect cozy night in. Yes, again, there are plenty of others that are great. And this may not be the most likable by everyone, but Again, this is my perfect list. Apple brandy on the rocks. Definitely worth a sample. Okay, the perfect all black scent in terms of all black attire on a casual night out. Again, too many fantastic options to consider, but I knew the vibe I wanted. I wanted something kind of sexy, so it has a bit of a sweetness to it. It has a bit of an edge, kind of a roughness and texture, but ultimately smooth, and alluring, and maybe even a little bit playful, but still interesting and a little bit mysterious. Gris Charnel Extrait from BDK is the one I had to go with. This is a wonderful update to the already fantastic Gris Charnel. As I've talked about in a recent video about flankers and how far can flankers go and all that stuff, yes, it's happening in the niche world too. How do I feel about that? Not crazy about it because niche is kind of where we go to get the antithesis of that, but they're trying to make money too, so they're using the same practices. But a lot of the time it works. We've seen some very, very successful flankers in the niche realm. This is one of them. This is what I call a great example of a flanker. It takes the original, it deepens it, it makes it more rich, kind of enhances some of the ingredients that were already present in the original to give it a darker personality. It has more of an edge. This still has that tea vibe, which is kind of calming. It still has this almost coconutty, like sweet, creamy vanilla vibe, a little bit of a fig fruit in there, but the sandalwood is boosted. It becomes dustier and it just gets kind of darker and woodier and drier as it sits over the course of the day. It will last a good while too. There's a sexiness here. There's an alluring quality here. There's a bit of a mysterious quality here. And it's even a little bit playful with the sweetness that it does have. A fantastic one to check out for the scenario. That is Gris Charnel Extract de Parfum. And this last 
category is most definitely a personal one for me. You will fill this with whatever works for you. This is what I call the wife wooer. A stupid name, I know, but I wanted alliteration to make it more memorable. The wife wooer. This for me is a fragrance that every time I wear it, gets my wife's attention and has her asking me, is this that fragrance? She knows what it is when she smells it. And she's like, oh my gosh, are you wearing fill in the blank? Because it really affects her every time, every time. Now, frankly, this is one of those fragrances that does it. As I kind of alluded to earlier, Killian Apple Brandy on the rocks. But again, I wanted to put that in the cozy category. And to be even more honest with you, the fragrance that tops this category is Desir Toxic from Mikalef. That is the one that gets her every time. However, I did include that in one of my recent installments of this series, so I wanted to leave the spot to something new. So I would put this at second or third on the list of fragrances that has this effect. Royal Oud from Creed. Kind of an unlikely pick. Can be a little bit polarizing. I've seen some people say, how can you like this fragrance? It smells terrible. And I try to tell them, I hope you realize that is your subjective opinion. But I can relate because at one point in time, I didn't like this fragrance, but I love it now. And I'm so grateful that my wife has what I would call high taste with fragrances and she absolutely loves this stuff. She loves how sophisticated it is. It is a dry, woody, spicy, slightly dusty, slightly sweet, but just overall very refined smelling fragrance. It smells like You've got it all together, you're dressed up, you are confident. It's not overly flamboyant, it's not boisterous, it's present, but it doesn't scream. It is not like a little boy running around, this is a man. But more than anything, it's a confident personality, so you know you don't have to be a man to wear it. Try it if it sounds interesting to you. If you're looking for a very classy but robust woody fragrance that does not smell anything like oud. It's actually just more of like a dry cedar wood. Dry peppery cedar wood overtakes the scent. If you're looking for that or if that sounds interesting, not one to overlook but get a sample. Do not blind buy it. Again, doesn't smell amazing to everyone. This summer smells like a Christmas tree. I can attest to that in my experience. You might have that but you might love it at first sniff. You never know but do get a sample and sit with it. Maybe come back to it over the course of a year. Don't spray it on your hand and smell it directly up close. You won't be scared away. Let it waft, let it breathe. Maybe give it that full wearing at home when no one's around. See how it wears around you. You might be surprised how much your opinion can change when you wear it properly. Anyway, that is Creed Royal Oud as my wife, wooer. And again, obviously I have a wife, so Fill in the blank for however that works for you. Girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, whatever it may be, partner, whatever you want to do. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Let me know what you think of my picks if you've tried any of them down below and let me know some of the fragrances you would fill these categories with. And if you have any funny stories with any of these, maybe something you thought was perfect for a particular scenario and it didn't work out, feel free to drop that in the comments as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.